Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dark and Dab, the next part of our Ghostbusters the video game playthrough. In this part, we're continuing to hunt down the Grey Lady, and, uh, where the heck are we in the library at this point? Okay, she's in here with Egon. No noise. What?! <laughs> no, seriously, you do need to do that to grab that this page, which is the Gozerian Codex. Now, exactly what the Gozeria Codex is will become a little more clear later on. Hmm. What we need to do is scan the Grey Lady and she's right over there. Ray, move out of the way, please. Mm hmm. Oh. That's just a. Oh, there she is! She's in there with Egon. Just stand real still and scan away. Don't move. No noise. Almost. Oh boy. Come on, don't move, lady. No, 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 no! Darn it! <laughs> Annoying little... And I walked right into a stupid ghost snare. Oh, here's a way through. What the heck is that kind of a picture? Anyways... Whoa, boy! Hello! Down he goes. Boom, ba, boom. Well, that's that problem solved. Wow. We just caused $1,700 worth of damage in about five seconds. This game gets me, alright! Where the heck is she? And what we're gonna do is follow her through this... Uh-oh. Watch out for the... Thanks for the... Help, guys. Yes! Balance is up. She definitely left a trace somewhere. Ah, there it is. Big spike. Right here. Yeah, check this out. I feel a breeze. So what we're gonna need to do blast a hole in there. Secret passages. These are great. <laughs> Ray, you're a fucking you dork. Existed. Looks like the janitors didn't either. The last eighty years anyway. I don't think they knew about it even before then. Although I have to wonder, this isn't just a secret passageway. This seems to encompass a pretty darn large section of the library building itself. Wow, dig that. Ray, I'm not entirely convinced this is the best course of action. Wait, you mean this might be a trap? It sent a bird at us! So what we're gonna need to do right now is... Uh, take down those... Lovely. Those ghosts hovering at the end are, are causing the real damage here. Now what the heck? I know there's a... Hmm, I think there's... Never mind, just take down the ghosts. If you can, use the shock blaster to take down the furniture that the ghosts are using to hurt. Got you. Well, I got one at least. Ah, the other one's tossing so much crap at me I can't keep a lock on him. I'll try and use the shock blaster to... Take both of them down, tip both their health down to near zero, and then attack. Smash. That's one bad uh, thing about this game. The fact that it's not very good at reminding you, hey, your health is low. You can say what you will about the problems of a doo 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 style health counter, but at least you know darn well when your health is low and you can know to be very extra cautious. Uh oh. Oh crap. There's things brought two more red ghosts. Smash -o. Oh, he don't like that. Get behind something. Like what? They're ghosts. They can go through things. That's what they do. Gotcha. Donk. Hello, ghosty. Smosh. Smosh. He didn't like that, no siree bop. Yes! Nice shot. Thank you. Now, only a few more... I think we've only got one more to take down. Just uh, keep playing Simon Says with the ghost, and we should do alright. Now, this area, I've noticed, represents a pretty significant chunk of the library building itself. 
So, assuming that in the last 80 years they didn't have any electrical, wiring, plumbing problems that would necessitate the finding of a secret passage that's this big, um, okay, I suppose the ghost could be helping it along, but you wouldn't think that, uh, huh? Oh. You'd think that they'd, she would have at least cleared all the books out late after that. You'd think the librarians there, live, working there would be like, what the hell? Like, a big chunk of the stuff in the non-fiction section just up and vanished yesterday. What the hell? Then again, maybe it could be uh, really unpopular materials, or maybe it's stuff that she didn't want anybody to know about in the first place. Damn. Wonderful. Hope you don't have any open cuts. Thinking flesh-eating bacteria. <sighs> I think it's a... Uh, I remember seeing a... Uh, ooh. Yeah, don't go into the slime there. Walk over these this invisible pathway while pa wearing the PKE goggles. No, uh, I was especially remembering a Webb's comic that I saw a while back that basically said that. Spangler, the kid found the exit. So we're going even deeper. Exactly how far down is the ninth circle of hell? Let's find out. But it mentioned that there are things that sound scary and things that are scary and things that sound dangerous and are dangerous. And flesh-eating bacteria is pretty near the top of both of all of those lists. Eerie place. I wonder if this is where the collector killed the librarian. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh oh, hello. I think that would be a safe assumption. That book she's reading is emitting massive energy. Massive amounts of energy. Uh -oh. That's your cue, killer. Go get him. Go get him, Ray! Why don't you go get him? Now let's see if we can't finally get a good scan of... Yes! Huh, diggity dog. Good got job getting a clear scan of her rook. In this form, she's fairly harmless, but also too elusive to act actually trap. But we're gonna need to be very cautious and uh, scan something else here, too. What's right on the table in front of her? The Gozerian Codex. It contains many rights and indexes, se several entities, all pertaining to Gozer. Well, no wonder somebody wanted something like that, especially if they were in the employee of Evo Shandor way back when. Come on, you. Let's. And by the way, in case you were curious, there's something else down in here. Boom. Oh yeah, the transmogrified gray lady. That was the form that she took when she scared the crap out of the Ghostbusters the first time around, but since we're kind of helping her this time, I don't think that we're really going to see her at all. perfect sense if her residual spirit energy is tied to the book. The Gozerian Codex, right? Now that we have it, her echo must have been released. She's gone. I think we helped her cross over. Oh, whew. Um, what's that? That looks bad. And she just crossed right that's not good. There's one. The transmogrified gray lady. Looks like she's more interest. Looks like she's not interested in resting in peace. More interested in making us rest in pieces. Let's just uh, get a clear scan of. Yes, there's the transmogrified gray lady. We're not running away this time. Now there are other codices, codices, codexes books that are surrounding her, and she's drawing power from them. We're not going to have to destroy the books themselves in order to break her shield. Once we've broken her shield, she's weak, and we can draw her out and trap her like any ghost. Oh, boy. Oh. Easier said than done. No, seriously, easier said than done. It's actually pretty hard to... There we are! It's actually pretty hard to hit them because they're so small and so high up ahead. Above, not ahead. <laughs> I suppose we could... Uh, and at this point, she's actually a pretty weak uh, mini-boss, all things considered. The worst that she could do is fling book bats at you, and, and uh, she really just seems to be stalling more than anything else. So now we can just capture her like we would any ordinary ghost. Not bad. Shh. And 
That's the end of the Grey Lady. As tough as it should have been. I was just thinking the same thing. It was almost too easy. Like she wants us to have the Codex. Yes, like she wanted us to blast this room. But why? So that you would speak without... What the hell? All the energy from our proton packs and traps have weakened the membrane between this world and whatever... Cross-dimensional portal. From the fifth to the fourth. A whole world of ghosts. Something I've dreamt about since college. All in the monarchy of Ammonia. Fantastic. Ghost world. I wouldn't get too excited, Ray. I have a feeling she did it so we could meet an old friend of hers. Well, we've talked about it anyway. Hmm. Let's just get a scan of this portal right here. Ethereospatial Rift. Great. So what happens if we walk into this thing? Let's find out. All right. So, it took ten minutes, but we got through, and we scanned everything. And... We're a responsible buster, and we've unlocked a new reward! Increased scanning speed!